This is Dennis Kutri after Epsley 2, Wildstone nil. How do you feel after that, Dennis? Yeah, Happy New Year. <laughs> so, um, feels great, obviously, because uh, we haven't had a clean sheet for a while, we haven't had a win for a while. And today everything came together, we defended desperately our own box, could see especially in the end, then uh, they bombarded our box, was cross over, cross over, cross, uh, many uh, corners, I think maybe, not the first time this season, but not often the season that we didn't dominate all the stats. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because in this position where we are, and that's what I said since a couple of weeks anyway, we need to make sure that we find ways to win games and um, I think this was a good way to win today. Obviously there are some changes today, Chris Solly came back into the side, do, do, do you think his presence, his experience, his, his calmness was, was a factor in, in helping you over the line today? 100%, he's our captain, he's a very important player for us, he played, I don't know, over 300 league games, so if he can't help us, who else could help us? So if I go out in the market and would find someone like Chris Solly, I would get him all day long. So I don't know how many appearances he had in the Football League, but I think it's over 300. So he will help us definitely and he could help us today. Unfortunately, he was longer injured than we have hoped. Uh, together with Joe Martin in the back, outstanding today, leading the group together with Kazu in the back. And, 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 and then from, yeah, from there onwards or going forward, everyone else as well worked hard, make sure we defended together as a team and it's the only way how we can get wins. It looked like a very disciplined performance in, in, in the, the, the shape you kept all the way through the game. You, you weren't being drawn into positions that, that changed the shape and, and you, you were able to counter whatever they offered. Yeah, and um, that's the point. So sometimes as a player you think like, nah, we can't accept it because we are better, we want to have the ball, we want to keep the ball. Um, we can't just sit and we can't just wait and we can't just run around uh, because that's how it literally feels as a player. And I know how they feel, uh, they don't like it, but it doesn't matter what we like at the moment. Um, uh, the only thing what matters is that we need to stop conceding goals and that's what the boys have done outstandingly today uh, because we were desperate enough and um, we were disciplined today as you said and no one was really running somewhere around and try to do something individually or specially uh, individually or something special um, and and that's the key because we need to understand no one can do something individually not me not uh, any player we need to do it together as a team and uh, support today was outstanding as well you could see um, it's it's a difficult times for us but still like in the rain and uh, don't know what to expect from this game with more than enough uh, people which um, yeah which would stick to us and um, and, and I want to see us women uh, winning and want to see us being successful and um, so I'm happy for everyone today it, it, this result has got to be the beginning of a, it's a new year as you say it's got to be the beginning of a new era though hasn't it with, with, with last year put that to bed that's to one side and, and this is something for you to build on isn't it today yeah exactly I, I had a little bit the gut feeling we can build on York and we can build on uh, Barnett so maybe Bromley was a bit of a wrong time for us um, but uh, today as I said from, 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 from start to finish it was just disciplined and desperate uh, from a defensive point of view and that's what we have to put our focus on we will always score our goals like we scored today and I was uh, I was really angry already in half time because we had one great counter where we have to score a goal obviously if you if you're a football fan or maybe not me as a manager then you might not see exactly the picture I speak about but we need to score already in the, se in the first half a second goal and then we had already uh, very early in the second half a great chance uh, from Dom Polion and we need to be ruthless we can't afford to have chances but uh, don't put them away uh, fortunately we got a penalty finally I don't know the, the, the thing was maybe the second penalty this season and when you see how many box entries we had already this season I don't know how we uh, just got so less penalties but at the end of the day it doesn't matter we got one finally we could score them finally because we suffered there a lot as well in the past so um, we're very proud of the boys because they left everything on the pitch and uh, no one will go home today and think like oh yeah it was an easy game everyone worked hard and you could see some people with cramps in the end and that's what I love to see the, the, the fans have gone home happy tonight. I'm sure the players and the coaching staff and, and all the staff at the club are going to be really happy to have got this one under your belt. But now you don't you don't play again for two weeks. There, there's no game next week. That must be frustrating for you that you can't just take this into another game quickly. Yeah, but as always, so we take it as it is. Um, other pe uh, people can say we can rest a little bit longer than everyone else. Uh, we would definitely play a friendly next week. So um, it's fine. So everyone can show how good he is in training and uh, we can build on that. Um, because we have a big squad and uh, we need to make some decisions as I said already last week what we will do so now we have the time to just breathe and finally got a 
win and finally got three points because this will lift the group and what I said a couple of weeks ago the only thing what matters is that we get back to back wins and that's now obviously the big big aim uh, we will be ready in two weeks for the next game and uh, we try to get a back to back win and, and, and build on from there and, and the game that's coming up next is a home game against Hartlepool who've just uh, parted company with their manager so they're a side that's in some sort of turmoil is that a good time to catch them or maybe a bad time to get them? It doesn't matter um, I think it's uh, honestly it doesn't matter so they come and we play against them and I think we played a very very good game over there when we played at Hartlepool so um, many people were questioning why we didn't win there so we tried to do it this time um, it was a great game from us there. We dominated all, yeah, big parts of the game. Uh, we're a little bit sloppy in defending, as we have been most parts of the season. But uh, this was, as I said, outstanding today. And if we can build on that from the defending point of view, uh, we will have another big chance and another chance to um, get points on the board. And that's the only thing what matters at this moment in time, because that's what we desperately need. Well, congratulations on today's win. And as you said at the beginning of the interview, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you.